All right, here we go. Let's jump back in. This song is amazing, by the way. You have the next break to listen to it. All right. So, what's actually our next goal? I think for now we're trying to stay out of the way from Germany and Russia or Soviet Union. So neither hopefully decide that they want a part of us. And to do this, we are kind of friendly with Soviet Union already and we are trying to get some of friendly with Germany. So I hope that's enough that they don't attack us. And I do want to focus on Turkey, but before we can get the necessary um, focus, we do need more manpower again. Which means we need to get political power and then we can get the necessary manpower. We are wasting some uh, political power on Germany right now to increase our reputation. But I think I'm going to leave it there for until we are up to like uh, 30, 40. Just to be sure they don't attack us. And we also might need some troops locally for defense here. Because we have some rebels coming up. Because we just conquered some land. I'm gonna have to get these guys to... Can't we just tell them to suppress rebels? God, 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 God. Not really. You have to add to their lands. Okay. We won't put 48 division here for sure, but a couple more. Resources are looking fine. We're not importing anything we don't need. We are still importing a lot of steel, but we can't do anything about it. But we are exporting some stuff. We're exporting some steel, unfortunately. Oh, Italy is... Wow! Italy is importing a lot of our oil. So hopefully we won't start a war with Italy, Germany, whatever. Axis, allies. Anybody, really. <laughs> so we can increase speed again. We are no longer at war. Here we are. Here we need more army. The air upgrade, which is nice. It's 40 by now, so we can get these bad upgrades here. Are we still... Yeah, we are still getting our... What is it called? Land Doctrine. Names. Names are difficult. Taking the Bosporus is going to be interesting without any fleet. And we only have these couple of submarines like this 18 ships here. We can take this stuff, but then can we go over here without... I think we can, but I'm not entirely sure how this works. We will see, I guess. Oh, the problem is probably these missing garrisons because we just don't have the manpower. That would explain a lot, but we do need to change this to these guys, actually. They're better at garrisoning. At least they're supposed to be. It's actually going down now. Perfect. Changing these troops might have been the right move. Uh, oh, nice. New research lot, finally. The last one. Do we have... No, this is 41. It's not yet 41, so... Perfect. We get the research speed already. We do need the better radars one day. This is 40. Let's get these planes. In case we do want to start plane production. Which we do want to. Like if we can afford it, but we can't. Um, what do we have down here? Uh, which grants 25% nuclear power... Reactor construction speed. I don't even know what that means. We can't produce a nuclear power reactor yet, so it's not useful yet. Let's go and get this fortify the border. Definitely want this before we go into anything else. 
Because we're not going to expand any, anywhere up here. Like, unless we actually have to go to war with one of these guys. Okay, we are at plus 40. I think we will... Oh, we aren't improving anymore. Aren't we? No, we're not. Somehow it stopped. Okay. But we are at plus 40, which is... Hopefully enough that they don't declare on us. And we are at plus 100 with Soviets. So... Hey, all friends here. Eh? Mobile defense is finished, so we go down this. Now we have to decide. I think we are likely to support uh, companions. More military factories. We are in a dire need of artillery still. And some anti-air. I think it doesn't really matter. We need both. Let's go with artillery first. I think artillery is a bit more important than anti-air. I think I made a mistake. What? I was saying I have 19 of 20 when I put one up here. It's going away down here for some reason. And 20 of 20. I don't get this. Oh, this is... I don't get what's going on here. Like it's saying I have a free factory. But when I assign it here, it's saying 20 of 20, but this one is getting wrecked for some reason. Maybe it's just missing constructions? I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> okay, finish the research. Uh, we could upgrade our anti-air, which is probably not a bad idea. 41 tech. What do we have over here for 40? Yeah, we should really get this stuff. Should really get our infantry infantry improvements. Uh, we've got a lot of army experience, so we can probably edit this regiment. And yeah, it's a really small one still. This will mean we need a lot of tanks though. Motorized. So, what do we add here? I'm not reading, I would say. Definitely an engineering company. Probably support anti tank in this case. Support anti air. And support artillery, probably. Yeah, it's like 20 soft attack. Um, breakthrough is really nice. But we need more organization. So, we probably add more motorized infantry. I like it like this. 30 organization is not bad for a light tank organization. Speed is 12, which is nice. And safe. This will mean our troops have completely been redesigned, but hey. Do we have some light tanks in storage? We do, so that might not be that bad, actually. It's mostly the artillery we are missing again. And of course the manpower. But we are getting up there, so hopefully soon we can fix that manpower issue. How is our sub managed subjects looking? One is getting somewhere. But two are going in the wrong direction because they have been happening in our wars. Let's go ahead and do something. Let's go and cancel. Uh, modify land lease. Remove. Send. Modify send lease. Send. And let's go up here, Slovakia. Um, modify send lease and send them six hundred. That should give us more progress to Slovakia. And they are the only ones actually doing progress in the right direction for now. And then we can work on somebody else. So we should be getting three each turn now. Yeah, okay. Improved artillery upgrades. Missing Cooper's probably still fighters. Yeah. Research. It's 40. We should probably get the better anti-air. Yeah. 
because we are still producing old ones and I do want to start producing new ones right away, so. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. Just one, uh, just 25 more political power. We can finally, hopefully. The fall of Cairo. Italy has retaken this area over here. Wow. From the city. Wow, they actually did a naval invasion over here. Italy is not bad as AI. I haven't played Italy that good yet. <laughs> I always mess it up when I tried it. They even took all this and are pushing back here. Not bad, Italy. Not bad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why? Why? We can't even join the faction anymore. They offered us join faction earlier. So maybe we should have taken it. Uh, let's do this. These guys over here. That's not enough though. Let's do it differently. I think if they attack us, we have no chance. here and these other guys we put let's hope Germany is nice to us um, delete all your orders put you up here okay well hopefully they won't attack us hopefully it's just like look at what we can do They've got like a hundred reputation of us. They like us. They hold our claim provinces. Why? Why do they claim us? Uh -oh. They actually are demanding it this time. Ah, oh, I think we just have to give it to them. So even if you are communist yourself and have 100 reputation they, on historical AI focus, they will still claim this. Romanian communism failing. Oops, that's what I meant to do. Oh, come on. Just deselect, please. I do have a lot of support for communists. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. I think we can't try to hold it. Not against the Soviet Union. They will just overrun us. I think we have to fortify these areas over here. It really sucks because we're going to lose some factories as well. I think there's no way. So we had probably had to join the common turn to not have the seven. Well, that really sucks. That really sucks. Hey, what are you doing? Like this. Oh my god. How many factories did we lose? Oh, we lost like eight factories? Damn it. Damn it. So 
So staying completely out of their way is not that easy. Yeah, I think to really do this you will probably have to either ally with Germany and then you can like go ahead and say yeah, yeah come at me bro or ally with the Soviets and then hope they ask us to join the common turn pact but I decided not to maybe that wasn't a good idea if we would have I probably wouldn't have done this damn it damn it now I want to go back and <laughs> accept their <laughs> proposal ah <sighs> Okay, we finished this. Can't do any of these yet. This doesn't make sense. So, Air Force, Army, probably go with Army. There was one for manpower here, yeah. Let's go for it down here. Oh yeah, we should really start this stuff now. We do have enough factories now to do this. Got an agency going and intel and stuff. Man, losing this factory hurts. Let's repair a lot of stuff. And then we will go and build more factories. Which we just lost. <laughs> Damn those Soviets. Oh, you have so many convoys. We... we steal any? Cannot deploy. Insufficient manpower, okay. Maybe we should stop producing them. Because oh, they take manpower away. Over here we don't need. Probably not a lot, but normally capitulated. Okay, we can finally modify our government. Let's go for extensive construction, and that should give us a lot more manpower we desperately need. Go on, give me ticks. Give me manpower. And first, we probably have to reinforce our troops that are already missing manpower. Another reason we couldn't have done this fighting thing. Like, missing manpower right now, we shouldn't fight against the Soviets. And if the Soviet has one thing, it's manpower. Okay, we created our agency. And let's see. Intelligence, let's start with counterintelligence, I think. Hey, blueprints training. Operations. That sounds useful as well. Those damn Soviets! We know we need fighters. How are these looking? Oh, I didn't mean to dismiss this. Well, we did. <laughs> uh, it was, I think, a four? Five? Six? A five? Okay, here we go. It's going up here. Going down over here, it's getting better. It's nowhere super critical yet. You have to keep it in mind though, since I accidentally dismissed this flag. Better anti-air now. Improved artillery. No, anti-air. Oh, oh, up here. Why aren't there factories? Oh, because we lost factories. You also lost three military factories. Oh. Damn those Soviets! Alright. Are we importing stuff we don't need now? Yeah, we are. So let's remove one. We are even importing from them. We're giving your factories and you still do this to us. What does this do? Towed rocket artillery. What's the difference? Uh... These have more defense, they have more breakthrough, though they might be good for our tank divisions. These have more heart attack, more piercing. I guess the biggest difference is these have more breakthrough and they cost less steel and more tungsten, which might be good for us. 
So if we can, we might change our design over here. Get there. Oh, they don't have a. Is there a support rocket? No, not. There's not. They don't have any artillery, so we won't change anything. <laughs> oh. oh, we haven't researched it yet. That's why. <laughs> Maybe we should. Uh, let's see. 40, nothing here. Nothing here we need. We need these close air support. Not yet, but we will need it. Let's go for infantry stuff first, though. In case we get into a war again. I still missing manpower. Just we upgraded our laws. Computing machine, which means faster research. When it's 40, we can start with nuclear research. Well, it's research speed, but it's a really long research. Let's do it anyways. We really have to keep an eye on this stuff. Just changed our laws. Why does it take so long for our manpower to grow? Oh, because it's all going into our garrison. Yeah, our total manpower is going up, but it's mostly going into our garrison right now. Which is fine, I guess. Did we lose resources actually over here? Let's see. No, there's no, at least no resources we lost. So, yeah, I think, like, if you do this again, we just shouldn't put anything up here in these three states. Let them have it. Oh, operative can be recruited. Oh, pause. Uh, stage coup cost, risk, boost ideology mission. Control trade, diplomatic pressure, that sounds good. Now we go and go on these guys. You go here. For built in intelligence network. Okay. I think we're going to wait with more researchers in our spy department. We just need a couple more factories for now. Barbaric. Yeah, we have so much stuff still to repair over here. Wow. This from these areas? Does the like when they have a lot of uh, rebels over here? Does do they destroy my infrastructure and stuff? Was it just like what's left from the war? change the oversight but I don't want to appliance informants okay interesting okay let's move on let's just hope nothing is going to happen here which is always a bad thing to say in a Paradox game. Let's just hope. Uh, let's get the close air support as well. Just to be ready when we finally can produce them. If we don't lose factories again. Army maneuvers. Let's go down here to the reserve division. Oh yeah, we get these royal guards now. I remember. Total manpower is still growing. But like I said, most is probably going into garrison right now. And maybe some troop replacements we are still missing. Um, what are the missing? No, they're not missing any. That's fine.
Let's see. What do those do? Um, base value, control at, at peace, low stability, state victory points, civilian oversight, effect scale to 0% due to garrison fulfillment. Resistance grows 0.2. Strength of resistance activity, yeah. Okay, we are getting damaged so much because of the resist these we don't have enough garrison troops and they are attacking basically our our guys. So let's see what else. Probably should upgrade these mechanized troops here for or medium tanks we might want to use or heavy tanks. And we should make sure our garrison troops actually viable. So is there uh, stuff for that. I think there is, but I don't remember which one it is. Weight suppression, reliability, piercing, good with initiative, piercing, breakthrough, defense. Maybe defense? Breakthrough, defense. Suppression. I think it's suppression. Why don't we see this over here? Am I blind? No, I'm not. Like these guys have suppression of two. There's like zero suppression here. Let's add a couple more. Makes them mostly. Maybe something else. Could add a motorized infantry. But that's not worth it, I think. Let's put them pure cavalry. Okay. It means a lot of manpower though. Which we do not have. Option resources. Nothing critical. Just just selling some oil. Or oh, subjects looking terrible. It's going to take forever to take any of these at the current speed. I'm really bummed out by what happened with these guys over here. Let's build some factories and don't care about repair for now. Queue in some factories over here, which is our mainland where we don't have any attacks from rebels right now. More support. We would not like. Would like to boost my stability somehow. Do we have any decisions for that that might be useful? Worker conditions. Factory output is reduced. Ah, we can't afford this. We can't afford this. Terms of peace. I would give a weekly stability, but also reduced war support. Which I don't like. Most of these have like a big broad drawback. Political power cost. Ooh, this gives research speed for one, but it also costs political power. We can't afford right now. Does this give me like that they support me more? It doesn't look like it. Only communist support. In Bulgaria. Oh yes. No. We can put basically our political parties here in effect. But it costs me political power. And again, communism support over there. I think we can't afford this right now. Let's put it in Bulgaria in fact, because... No, in Slovakia, because we are trying to get Slovakia on our side. Let's do it here. 
so it will probably cost us, yeah, it cost us 0 0.5 critical power, which is quite a bit, thinking about it. Going on. I'm hearing war. Oh, the Blitz took this. Took Sardinia as well. Italy took back a lot of. Oh! Italy is doing great down here. That's big Italy. Good job, Italy. Good job. What's going on over here? Wow! Japan is not doing anything this time. Like, China is really good still. Interesting. Soviets are not really doing anything over here as well. Get these Royal Guard divisions. And we are starting to get manpower again, which we lost immediately. <laughs> but these reserve divisions will definitely help. Okay. Let's add these to this army. And I think these have been kind of nice. Yeah, they already have artillery in here. But we already changed our... We can't put these next to each other. Like, this one has all the stuff already. There's like no big difference between Royal Guards and our design. Oh, our design is even better. I would say. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's almost the same, unless. Except that we have more companies over here. So let's get rid of these Royal Guards. Like, not right get rid of them, but let's change their template to. Normal, normal infantry. Need some more support equipment. Perfect. And then we can just remove the Royal Guard template. Perfect. You hear warring going on. I don't know where. Support weapons is finished, which is nice. It's still 40, so we should upgrade these guys. Can we train them actually? Do we have uh, some left? Yeah, we can. We should always get them when we can. We are missing manpower to train them. Oh, we actually got the manpower now, so they are finally training. But hopefully help with our garrison issues. Uh oh. Should probably do something about this here. Let's go again over here. Territory. Put this on. Let's go for like 40% of military government. That will at least give us. And these as well. Can't be trusted. You need some military in your front yard. Just remember to shine this backlight on. These are okay. Over here we definitely need it as well. I mean, it's mostly mem stack because we don't have the manpower we need for. We actually have these islands up here. I just didn't realize that. Okay. So for now, can we just. Hmm. Would have been easier. King of Hungary. We don't care about King of Hungary. That's okay. I hope. And Yugoslavia is okay as we, no Yugoslavia we want kingdom of uh, military governor as well. Bam. Perfect. Hopefully that's enough. And they all have arrows down now, so that should help. 
we're probably losing even more factories. I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of sabotage going on here because of these. It should be getting better now. Uh, it's all gone. Oh no, this one is not. We might have some rebels here. Can deploy units. These guys. Uh, deploy. Over here. And to deploy them. Oh, well, these guys can be deployed, I think. Yeah, these guys should be deployed. And where are they? There we go. Attenzione. And add them to this army over here. We are having some trouble with the natives. <laughs> Maybe we should lose one of our armies as garrison. Get these guys and gareth them. Um, really join us. I know we are not made for garrison, but let's put you here anyways. Maybe that helps. Well, let's we will see. My garrison troops finally filling up at least. Let's take a look at this. Not really. Yeah, we just don't have the manpower. Hungary is going down nicely. I don't care about us. Okay, we can modify again. Let's get more manpower. This will reduce our factory output, though. But we need it. Oh, well, we do have manpower now. Let's wait a bit. Like, we are still gaining people from our... We are not at our limit yet. And the growth is not improved by getting this, I think. Go for the uh, superiority here. Oh, research is finished. Planes are fine. Should probably go down here as well. And I do want to have the medium tank. We would just have more production. Oh, there's our manpower, Gary. A lot of people are going into our garrisons right now. That's still increasing. We've got 4.7% mobilized. And how much can we? 5%. So I think we need more troops still. Okay. We can get in a little bit more now because of these reverse reverse divisions. Modified by 107 7%. Man, this manpower is an issue on this play through here. Let's go down here, acquire modern tanks. exporting that's why we don't have too many factories currently finally 
Yeah, we are not export. Oh, we are exporting some steel, which is unfortunate. I don't want to export steel. Okay, better machinized equipment. And now we could go here. Defense and organization or capacity. I like the idea of having less but better special forces. How many do we have in troops? 630. We are getting close to that 700k mark. down here. Always have our land doctrine moving forward. We're getting more power power and it's instantly gone. So two point zero point two percent of enlightenable non core population available twenty one 0.57 million. So we have 15.85 million. I don't get these numbers. I don't know how much more troops I can get. Uh. Have a growth rate about 0.0.9%, but of 15.85 million. Okay, 5.1% of 15.85 million. We have a gain each. That would be more than 0.0.9% per mobilization. I don't get this. And then it says something of 15.85 million, and then there is. Something about uh, 21.57 million. Oh, it's core and non core population. Probably uh, the. Okay, okay, I see. 5.1% of the core mobile. Uh, of the core population, which means of uh, our core country population. And 0.2% of the non-core population, which is the countries we occupied. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. But it says it tells me nowhere how much more we can gain, which is a bit unfortunate. Well, yes, it says total manpower 883k. No, but that's everything we have right now. It says nowhere we can gain like, I don't know, one million more men until we won't be gaining anymore. It doesn't tell me anywhere how much more we can mobilize. That's a bit unfortunate. But I'm just not seeing it, maybe, I don't know. Infantry training 2. Perfect. That's a quick one. Oh no, this one. Uh... We could get the amphibious version, but I don't think we need it. We won't be doing any naval invasions. This isn't the future, so we are fine here. Should upgrade these companies, especially this one. Yeah, let's focus on upgrading our special companies, since we are having them in all our divisions. Five point two percent. Okay, we'll move oh, okay. I think we just hit our limit because it doesn't tell me about gain anymore. Yeah, I think we just hit our limit, but it's still gaining just ever slightly, like one k. Well, now it's basically not well, very slightly. So I think we are at our limit now? Attenzione. Maybe? Ordonati. Okay. Now how's our stuff look? We don't have the alert anymore. 
getting better. Well, not on here. <laughs> Uprising. Can we do even more? Greece. We could do martial law. I think we have to. You're missing 100k manpower. It's even going up now because we are losing manpower from Greece now. So we definitely need to get the next conscription law. Acquire modern tanks. Perfect. So let's go down this one now. Okay. More subjects. We're having some progress on Slovakia, but it's still like only 50. We take forever. Maybe if we build something in there. I haven't tried this. Might be interesting what happens if we build in their territory. Let's build like one factory and, and see what the impact is. Factory in here. Just want to know what the impact is. Can we actually kind of find on infantry equipment? Artillery and anti-air is still our biggest issue and some motorized. But of course fighters we're not building yet, but hey. Yeah, we are basically not gaining anymore because we're at our limit, I think. So yeah, this information is kind of missing. How much more troops you can get. And the monthly growth is just like how many people get in that age range that, you, that they can be used for war each month. And we're almost there, so even though our factories are going to take a hit, we have to take serve by requirement. Now we should have a growth rate again, yeah. We can go up to 10% now. This should leave us with like double the manpower almost. I hope that we can get more manpower from our occupied states soon. Once we get rid of these issues here yeah, I do want to get their autom autonomy up here or their compliance why isn't why is there only Greece here Non-resigned countries, okay. That's why. Uh, I mean, Hungary, not these other ones. Like Bulgaria. Well, Bulgaria is a resigned country, apparently. So if we go down here... Oh, no. Why is Bulgaria showing anywhere here? It's kind of interesting. So, do we see our compliance growth? Local police force would reduce our daily compliance gain. But, we would gain less resistance. And we would have even less required garrison. Secret police would give, would give us more factories. But I don't like this because we, lo we are losing um, compliance and I do want to get these compliant.
Okay. So this we hopefully can reduce from martial law soon. Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia is not as bad as... Yugoslavia is not as bad as Greece. But it's being reduced now. So I hope the worst is over. The research ready. It's an, oh, it is 14 1 now, so we could go for the next medium tank or the next heavy tank. Let's start with the medium one. And I th think we might add some medium tank. Ah, we don't have the production. We need more military factories. We don't even produce light tanks right now. Okay, we got a new leader. Research bonus, that sounds great. Research bonus is always nice. Field hospital. Okay, we can go for industry researchers again. It's 41, so let's do this. Hungary claims overlordship of Slovakia. What? What? Uh. Okay. I mean, it would mean we have one less subject to worry about. Let's do it. I mean, there's still our... Well, they exiled. These guys are all puppets, aren't they? Yes, they are. So, the puppet of a puppet is not a puppet anymore? <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, they are a puppet of Hungary. But Hungary is our puppet. That's kind of strange. Okay, I don't really care about it, but... It's okay, I guess. Maybe we shouldn't have done it. But I was hoping this increase our... friendshipness and hopefully our possibilities to get them not really um let's take a look at that well the autonomy is growing uh the compliance which is nice doesn't tell me how much it's growing daily. The state thing? Well, I don't see any information about growth here. Let's go for all the resources over here. Especially production. We are losing some factory output now to conscription laws. So now um, our garrisons is growing because we took control of these countries. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to take Yugoslavia and Greece as occupation. Maybe we should have puppeted them as well. There we go. That's why I decided not to get involved with the Soviet Union. Even though we lost some areas over here. Mm. 
German Reich. I took everything in Europe so far. Italy is doing fine down here. They're actually pushing the Brits back finally. Interesting. Rich atomic research. Blocking rights from the Soviets. Nope. Nope. You took lower lands, you idiots. I'm not going to give you docking rights. That's 43, so... Huge attack. 41, we could get... Advanced fire control system. Should probably go down this radar stuff as well. But for now, let's get all this stuff over here. To make our factories as good as I can be. Since we don't have a lot. That's actually getting better. We're getting 10 from exports now. Nobody's buying our stuff suddenly. Probably because of the war. Yeah, Germany is buying like 40 oil from us. Which is great. <laughs> Nobody's buying aluminium. Some people are buying... Steel. And nobody's buying chrome. But still, this means we have a lot of production. Yes, we do. We have some factories down here. Let's start building some military factories. We can't in our core area. Oh, I did want to build a factory over here and over here to see what's going to happen. Actually can't, build, but we are getting an upgrade soon that should allow us building more factories. So we probably should build some stuff over here to get ready to take the Bosporus. We almost have the necessary 750k manpower. But I do want to have some manpower in reserve again before we start the, this war. Garrisons. Okay, these garrisons are growing. How is our local Tommy looking? Nope, this one. I meant to click. Okay, this is looking great. This one is better a lot as well. Let's wait a bit longer. Maybe we can go down to like liberated workers. More like. Ooh, local factories is a l very nice, but it doesn't give a lot. Like it doesn't give a lot reduction in in in, in uh, resistance, so this might be something we really want to do because I like the resources and the factories gain we get from this. But right now we can't do it yet, I think. So let's go for secret police for now. Hopefully still go down. And when it continues to go down, we will maybe switch even to the worker thingy. National focus complete. Now, artillery modernization or... Gain a mountaineer unit with nine battalions. And one time research bonus. Uh, let's go for the artillery first. Japan declared wars on the Philippines. They haven't done anything this time in Japan. China is really strong still. Last time I've looked over here on my last game where I played Soviet Union. China was completely destroyed. This was all Japan. They even took half of British Reich. So, yeah, very different this time. France is taking a lot of stuff over here. Italy has taken some stuff back. Yeah, Brits are almost out of this over here. Italy is taking a lot of stuff back. And over here the war is starting. This is going to be interesting. 
Let's see who's going to win this. For now, everybody leaves, leaves us alone. Let's improve the relation again a bit. They have been going down quite a bit. I don't want them to think they should take us. Go stay and fight your Soviet wars over here. doesn't have enough manpower to give. Oh, we could have asked them to support us in manpower, but nobody would accept us anyway. So it's nice to know, but it doesn't help us. <laughs> oh, we're actually getting manpower. We are actually doing it. I need to train a couple more troops. Let's go ahead and build a couple more. Oh, we can build more of these, apparently. And uh, let's train five more tanks. We do have some light tanks. Don't we? Well, not a lot. Or are they already in here? Oh, they already have their tanks. So we're just missing motorized. Yeah, we have to increase production there. I mean, not, we haven't been producing for a while since we m are missing factories. We are missing some rubber as well. Let's go ahead and build more of these, I think. Okay, what can we sh get? We should be able to get this guy now. No? Let's go for the probably th strategic bombing. We haven't gotten any bombers yet, but we might. Okay, we're missing manpower again because we just ran some new troops and I almost throw all my water, but I'm luckily I didn't. Only almost. The next goal is going to take this area over here. They have some navy and stuff, that's going to be interesting. Can we move over here? Probably. We should put some units here. But the supply lines will probably be terrible. Yeah, there. Maybe we shouldn't care about these islands and just go through this area. Japan is actually doing some progress over here, finally. We researched our medium tank. We can also get the heavy tank. Let's go and get the... Get the self protected artillery. We are building a lot of factories now. We have 72. We really should probably go ahead and get some military factories going. Sounds like a good idea. Construction research finished. Let's get the more resources.
Congratulations are improved, so let's cancel. Oh, it's cancelled already. Finally. It's nice. Decisions are available. Oh, concentrated industry is nice because we now can build more factories. Research 41 is nothing interesting. Maybe the radar stuff we should be getting. I haven't been building any yet, so I think it's too early to get this. Should we get bombers? Maybe some strategic bomb. No, when well, tactical or strategic bombers. Probably strategic bombers. But we aren't. We are not building a fighter and close air support yet. It's a waste. It's a waste. Just researching. Yeah, let's rather search some artillery and stuff. We can improve our artillery. That's a way better idea. We should probably take a look at our infantry research. Forty-one might be new tech and infantry as well. We got 730k. Can we deploy anything? We can deploy these guys. No, we can't. Because we don't have a location set. Is this enough? Not yet. Military modernization. Let's wait a bit, they just need some training. It doesn't take too long. And let's see, modern AT guns. Or mobile tank destroyers. I think the mobile tank destroyers is the thing where we can get the uh, government improvement from. Let's get this. Japan is declaring more wars. As long as nobody's attacking us up here, I'm totally fine. United States joins the United Kingdom. Wait, what? <laughs> Shouldn't there be the United States joined the Allies? Or is the United Kingdom also a faction? <laughs> United Kingdom. Well, that was 300 years earlier. <laughs> Ireland. Okay. And we should be able to get this guy. Oh no, they are working on this focus now. Yeah. yeah how are we looking? Even better than over here. Let's try to get this even further down. Should we go for liberated worker? I mean, we won't be getting progress in uh, in compliance, but it will give us a lot more production, which we really need. Let's do it. No bits enough. We have a free military factory. Okay, I think we should start building medium tanks. Now we need more motorized. We need a second motorized factory. And from our civilian production, we need to build a couple of these guys we can't build yet. <laughs> we have never researched them. We never researched them. Uh, we should get these so we can get some rubber going. Since we are going to build planes soon, we need rubber. Yeah. I think we are going to, to get this research done and build a couple of this, these guys. Okay, we've got the... We might want the tank destroyer as well. And probably the last medium tank. But these guys are just going to research this stuff now. And give us some rubber. We build like three refineries. And then we get the researcher that give us even more rubber. Then we have like eight income in a couple of months. Which should be enough. This research should be 
fast by now? Well, actually not. Not that fast. Okay, we've got everything here so far. Let's take a look over here. This is 41, so we could only get this one. The armored car. Yeah, no, that's, that's all fine. Nothing we need. Oh, we haven't upgraded these. We really need to upgrade these. That's a huge difference. Okay, we're getting some manpower by now. Are we above... No. Do we need 750? I think we need 750. Yeah. So we need a couple of troops more. Anything we can force deploy? Uh, deployment. Hmm. Still needing a bit time. Let's wait a bit longer. They're not trained enough yet. Ah, fuck it. We are forced to buying them. Go. You guys can do it. We're gonna lead troop. And this should give us enough troops. Perfect. So when our next focus is finished, we can finally get this stuff going. More breakthrough, that's actually great. Okay, how are our supplies looking? Probably motorized a lot and light tanks. And some artillery. And some anti-air. A lot of stuff we need. Let's put a second one in anti-air. Improve a lot of this stuff down here. Okay, now let's get these armies. We're here. Soviets shouldn't buy that anymore for now. We gave them what they wanted, so. And these guys over here. How is our infrastructure looking here? Should be enough. Yeah, it's like a huge area over here. Yeah, yeah, that should be more than enough. And then we assign these guys. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Now, first of all, we go for an offensive line to take like this stuff. Then we will see once we are here. We do this for both of these armies. No, offensive line. Same for you guys. And our tanks, we assign here as well. No, those are not our tanks. This is our tanks. And we give you guys uh, right there. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that I misdraw these spearhead and push them to here first. We can get over the channel here. Okay. It's a lot of troops, but it should be all fine. This army... How do we move them for now? Are they allied with somebody? No. They're just guaranteeing their independence. For some reason. <laughs> What's going on here? This, this front line hasn't moved a lot yet. Take a bit. But not a lot. Okay. We are improving our factories. We're almost up to 50 civilian factories, which is great. I mean, we are losing some through trade, probably. We're also gaining a lot. Soviets and Germany are buying fuel from us, which is kind of nice. Nobody's buying aluminium. And people are buying steel. It gives us trade influence over these guys. Does this help us in getting them... Bulgaria... Bulgaria is actually going. Uh, oh, for buildings have a lot like a whole lot 
Yeah. Yeah, so we should keep building in their areas. And we do gain from these buildings once we... Oh, well, we can't. <laughs> we can build over here. We do gain from them once we finish them. So once we can integrate them, we get these buildings. So there should be no downside, unless, except that you don't get the buildings right away. Which isn't great, but it's not terrible either. How long does this focus take? Just a little bit longer. Maybe we should think about a navy now. Now we do have some coasts now. No! You took our fucking areas. We hate you for that. Uh, let's see. Light tanks, anti-air, artillery, motorized. I really think we need more motorized. We already have two on motorized. Let's get two on tanks as well. And next we will actually, I think we will start with planes. Like one plane, uh, one, one production of fighters and one production of close air support. So we have some air support at least. Are we still gaining troops? Yeah, we are still gaining troops. We are at 7.8% and we go up to 10%, so... Yeah, there should be like 200k, 300k more manpower in for us. Improved artillery upgrade. Just great. Let's do the same for anti-air, I think. I really would like some medium tank divisions for breakthrough. You only have uh, light tank divisions for now. Which we are building actually a couple of more. For. So have to be careful with manpower. We should be getting more manpower from our occupied territory soon. Oh, it's beautiful how it's going down. Even the liberated workers isn't still helping. Now, liberation doesn't seem to be going down. It's still at 28%, so at least it's not going down. So later on we might go back to civilian oversight just to get more manpower. For now we do have enough manpower, we are still growing, so I think going with liberated worker isn't too bad. I do want uh, Hungary to get up here, so... Getting the liberty up or the... Uh, what is it called? I always forget how it's called. The compliance up is really useful here for Hungary, I think. We've got 150 actually. Can we get the... Not yet. It's like a day off, so let's wait a day. Perfect. Get this. Be well, maybe we should get a sheep of navy soonish. Like I said, we might have to take care, uh, think more about navy now. Especially since we are going to control the strait over here. How many ports do we actually have? Uh, three by now, so it's not too many yet. Yeah, maybe, maybe we should produce something. We don't have the research, actually. Yeah, I think it's a waste still. Maybe later on, but we are not going to fight any of the big nations, at least not yet, so... I don't think it's too necessary. Always these hard decisions. Yeah, building buildings is huge. Got a new factory. Yeah, we definitely need more steel and... Maybe we should reprioritize this. What do we have a lot of right now? Anti... 
tank, but we are not producing any. <laughs> support equipment is okay. So let's go ahead and move support equipment down all the way. So not the factories are not supposed to change, but the resources. So our tanks and mostly even motorized are getting the necessary steel. And we need rubber, which we will hopefully soon be able to get. Got another factory though. I do want to start planes now. So we start with close air support. And let's already add the one for fighter. Let's turn this around. Let's start with fighters, not close air support. Low manpower, but we are still gaining manpower, so. We finally got the stuff under control a bit. Hi, Christo. Welcome to my stream. Um, yeah, we get this stuff under control. This is going down slowly, but hey. Actually, 0% over here. Yeah, it's a sample. It's uh, half, uh, half one, so zero thirty for me. So yeah, an hour uh, uh, later, uh, earlier, earlier, later, ahead, an hour ahead. That's the right what I've been looking for. That means you are in the east of me, right? Right. So Eastern Europe or Russia? Or somewhere south. Uh, let's see. It's oh, it is forty-two. This tech is forty-three. There's forty-two tech down here. Research speed we should get. Europe, just besides Russia. Okay, yeah, I'm from Germany, so. Eastern Europe then. Nice. So somewhere over here. <laughs> right, how long will we take to start our war? Just a bit more. Excavation, perfect. More resources is always nice to see. Engineering, nothing we should be getting yet. These plants we shouldn't be needing. Land doctrine is researching. And 42. If you can get better artillery. Let's get it. Let's get it. Now we are getting more factories. I think the next thing we are going to do is start building medium tanks. Uh, this game is uh, a grand strategy game, like most Paradox games, and, well, the objective very much depends on the country you're playing. Like, I started with a sm relatively small country in Romania, and my personal objective was to take most of the Balkan states, and uh, I achieved this, so these guys are my puppets, basically they belong to me or they have to do what I tell them to do, and... Um, yeah, now I'm trying, or next thing we are going to do is invade per uh, Turkey, get the Bosporus control over this strait over here. Uh, but if you are like Germany, if you're playing as Germany, uh, you definitely have very different objectives. You might try to comp really take Russia this time, or Soviet Union, or take United Kingdom. Uh, so you basically set your goals yourself, more or less. And yeah, it is a grand strategy game, so you play this country and uh, you give orders to your army and do a lot of political decisions, economic decisions, where to build what and stuff like that. And yeah, somehow you try to win. Estonia, yeah. They have taken this. I actually didn't even notice that they took all these states up here. These countries. But they haven't taken Finland for some reason, which is really easy to do. <laughs> <laughs> OK, 
Okay, we can't get any of these designs yet. Let's get the research speed. Then we almost have everything done here. We might think about reducing the export. That only gives us more resources, which is not that important for us. I think we should stay with export. We are gaining a lot more factories by exporting than we would be getting resources. Like we're exporting all this fuel. We have one left for export. Right. Now, yeah, we are building some factories in queue. And our research for the synthetic refinery should be finishing soon. So this is probably what we are going to do next. Well, 84 days. Uh, Corona is alright, I would say. It's not perfect. Like, we have, I think, 100,000 people have got it. But for a country of 88 million, that's alright, I guess. And we have some limitations, like... There's a contact for boat, so we are not quarantined. You are allowed to go out, but you're not allowed to meet people. So you can go out and do sports in the park, for example. As long as you don't meet with people, it's all right. Um, and like a lot of non-essential businesses are closed, like restaurants uh, and stuff like this. So all the non-essential businesses where you would meet, you you can work if your company is like not having a lot of people together and stuff. Like I'm a software engineer, we do home office and I can still work. Um, but everything else like uh, restaurants and stuff are shut down. So all in all, it's all right. Like uh, I think they have it decently under control. They are reducing the infection rate quite a bit. But yeah, it could be better like everywhere, I guess. And I still, like, I don't have a feeling to be in danger or anything here. Like, the infrastructure is working. There's still everything to get at a, uh, at, a at the store, even toilet paper. <laughs> uh, so there's no issues uh, with uh, supplies or, like, food or stuff like this. So, yeah. It's just some limitations about meeting people. Which... I've a lot of people I feel in Germany actually like keep to these limitations. They agree with uh, these limitations being necessary and there's always some people that don't that still meet up in a park or something but most people are like okay yeah it has to be done so oh my airports over here let's get these guys down here probably and assign them over here. Maybe we should assign them here first. Alright, our main power is growing a lot, which is nice. Yeah, there was one week in Germany where it was like this as well, where there was some stores that were almost empty, or at least some stuff was empty, but it was only for like a week. Next week was already a lot better, and right now it feels like normal. There's like everything to get, and no shelves are empty. But you're right, there was one week where it was similar here. How much longer? I want to start this war. Almost. Almost. Nine more days. How is the territory is looking? Still going down a lot. Perfect over here already. We might think about changing this to... Do we change this? We would get more manpower. We don't need the manpower now. I think we have stay with the with the extra factories for now and the uh, yeah this is still going up compliance oh is uh hungary not compliant let's take a look 
Uh, show. Okay, no. They're not shown because they're not resistant. But they haven't complied completely yet. Alright. What do we do next over here? Nothing interesting over here. I think we go down here. Oh yes, we can get a very early heavy tank, which is great. And you can start a war. So let's go. Declare war. Puppet. Call allies. Send. Bam! And let's call our allies in. Perfect. And we can execute our plans here. Oh, these guys. They don't have a plan. They are up here. Yeah. We just stand. Uh, yes, yeah, sometimes. I watch chat. I think most of the time. I did some reruns and some people were chatting when I was doing a rerun. I saw those later. Why aren't they having their offensive lines over here anymore? Oh, probably because we took Istanbul. Well, that's alright. Let's reduce speed slightly. Uh, at least it's Bulgaria. We don't want this. Got another factory. I did say I want to start medium tank production. Uh, let's start with the normal tanks. Then we might build some self-propelled artillery as well. Uh, we have no template. Yeah, I know. But we build the template now if we can afford it. Uh, we need a new division. Create empty with medium tank we won't be able to afford what we want to do that's some sp yeah we can't afford this not nearly 25 we have to wait subnautica was a great game by the way it was a lot of fun to play Oh, they don't have a plan anymore, that's why they're not advancing. Let's get this. Should be almost instant. You guys maybe should. At least some guys should stay here. Okay, there we go. Now we need to create a new... Can we move over here? Yes, we can, okay. Let's try to take this, and then we can create a new front line. Okay, now we need probably to move our air support to here yeah oh, there's nobody buying our chrome that would be nice we're not needing any ourselves yet so it might be late attack you building yes we are Let's see Put a couple more civilian factories over here. And then we probably build some more military ones as well. Military, military over here. Need all these military factories. I have seven troops over here. That's a lot. Hi, welcome to my stream. Let's see what they have here. A lot of defense. These guys don't have the organization to move in, but we do have a lot of reserves. So hopefully over time we will take this. Uh, no template, missing equipment. What are we missing? Anti-tank. Yes, I'm German. Um... What do we need anti-tank for? Which template does anti-tank have? It? Oh, they do. Don't they? I see, I see, okay. 
Uh, I'm doing fine. I hope you are as well. You can chat in German, that's alright, but I'm going to answer in English. In case somebody else is watching. Let's add one production of anti-tank. Anti-tank. I'm not taking this right now, which is a problem. Can we create these divisions? Like, can we create a front line here? Not really. Take this first. All right. Kind of late. <laughs> well, it's a long weekend, so it's a nice time to stay up later. Maybe we should. Should we? I don't know. Need more troops for sure. Okay, we are finally advancing again. Twenty-nine reserves. They've got three reserves. It will take forever to push in there. Do we have air support very already? Yes, we do. But that's not enough. That's not enough. get some tanks in here. We do have some tanks. Hopefully they can reinforce. Come on, come on. We can push them. You can do it, guys. You can do it, guys. That's annoying. Maybe we should do a naval invasion of, like, back here. Hmm. Do we have enough transports? Yes, we do. We captured apparently some Let's do this. Let's go ahead and get this. Let's lose this army up here. We do a naval invasion if we can. Can only use 10 troops, which is a problem, but let's do it like all the way back here. There shouldn't be a lot of troops back here. We assign as many divisions as we can. I can't we assign you guys. The revisions will be assigned. Let's delete this order. Oh, don't we have the tech yet? Are we actually missing the tech, even the first level? Naval. Naval invasion. Where is the tech? It's down here somewhere. Damn it. Damn it. We're even missing the first level. Uh, that sucks. We might take this. Next. Research. So I guess you guys can go ahead and let's just put the up here so they are close by. Who doesn't have an order of oh, these guys? Okay. Let's remove the order for now until we have the tech. Someone pushing in here. Even though we have air support. But attacking over this river is like really hard. Manage occupied territories. Oh, the autonomy is going up again. Low stability. Oh, that's why. Can we somehow increase our stability? Ireland joint allies. How do we increase our stability? Do we have a decision for this? Let's go for war propaganda. Doesn't that? Oh, it's war support. War support is all right. Women in the workforce would be nice. Ah, oh, we need to do total mobilization, though. With worker conditions. That might be an idea. Even though it improves, uh, reduces our output. We definitely need the stability now, though.
Hmm. Yeah, I think we will get the uh, improved rocket conditions. We need the stability. And though it's kind of expensive. Oh, we really couldn't push in. Wow. Wow. Go ahead and wait until they are all resupplied and stuff. And then we move in again. No, I'm not giving you fleet basing right. You stupid Soviets. Okay. We've got 797. It's going up. Uh Really bad we need more stability i mean even if the output is reduced from the decision we are losing 16 percent output because of the low stability so getting this decision is probably not a bad idea like in total if we go to a stability level where we don't use these 16 percent again we're actually gaining six percent no i'm not on a uh in a in the common turn pact uh they asked me to go in but I decided to try to stay out of the war between Germany and the Soviets. And so far I have been able to do this. So I can like war down here and stuff without having to be careful about these borders up here. So, so far it worked out. Except for that like these couple of provinces, they actually belong to me. And the Soviets uh, forced me to give it to them. Um, and otherwise we would have to declare war on them or they would have declared on us. So I gave them these couple of provinces and was like, okay, you can have them. Uh, and they are in the war right now. So I feel like it worked out kind of nicely uh, to not be at war with any of these. And hopefully we can take Turkey and maybe then even some stuff down here. And yeah, so my goal right now is just to be as big as possible was by staying out of the big guy's way. <laughs> what do they need? Motorized, towed anti light tanks, okay. Basically everything. And it helps me in a economic perspective because oh right now they are not, but there was a time where even where the Soviets and Germany were buying my oil, which is kind of nice. We finished that research to build the no we haven't. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! How long does that research take? Oh, we shouldn't have a. Oh, we don't have any operations ready. 8% done. Why is he at home? He's supposed to build a spy network over here. Did we send him earlier? Maybe I missed it up. This is a part of uh, UK. So you, this is Albania, and at the beginning it's its own country. Then it was. There's like a focus from uh, Italy that I can take it, and then I took it. And then uh, Italy is, of course, uh, allied with Germany in the Axis. And they are at war with the Allies, United Kingdom, and then United Kingdom came over here and took it. So it's the only part of the Balkans I'm not owning. Not yet. But I don't want to go to war with the Allies, so <laughs> we are probably not going to own it. Okay, let's get some extra rubber from the refineries. And let's finally build some refineries, so we should get some rubber going. Let's start with like three refineries, I guess. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. And we prioritize them kind of high because we need the rubber. And these guys over here are my puppets, so yeah. I control them. Okay, let's try this again. Let's have the tank division. Well, that's not going to work out. Oh, 
hopefully we can do it. Probably not. We are going to need to do a naval invasion over here. I actually took my islands over here. I was expecting that, but hey. I just can't push in through this small channel here. For the rest of all their organization. That's bad. We have 56 is not enough yet. Eighty-one factories, fifty-one civilian ones. Hmm. It's getting up there. They're gaining more autonomy again. We might have to change our oversight again. Which would be annoying. Hungary is gaining some resistance again. No, we can't take it like this. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Let's have our tanks push back in again. No, we're going to have to do a naval invasion somewhere. And so next research finished. Nine days. And then we will start the research for the naval invasion. That's kind of stupid. Should have thought of that earlier. <laughs> I should have put some troops here as well. I could have had like three angles of attack and not only one. Wait, France occupied these islands? They're usually Italy. That's interesting. Oh, the United States actually took them. Well. <laughs> Alright. I think it was just a waste of manpower to try to do this like this. Yeah, I probably can't take this. Why do they have 84 used combat with? Interesting. Interesting. Still not enough. Alright. National focus complete. Perfect. Let's go and get something else. Uh, what could we get? This one over here. Let's just get it. Units for free is always nice. Uh, research. How much longer? Three days. Three more days. Two days? I think there's some stuff going on over here we don't care about. Wow. Japan has been completely thrown out, thrown out again. Japan is really bad this time. Okay, Regan Company is finished. So we can f get over here and get the naval invasion research. Alright. That will help a lot. Yeah, we just stop this for now. Get these guys re equipped and stuff. It's alright, you just keep standing over here. And then we do an attack over here and a naval invasion all the way back here. Which one is the biggest port? Um, do we see this? No, we probably have to scout it. Let's see. Move them over here. Can't we? We have to deactivate the mission first. Yeah, now we can, okay. Naval base level 1. 
Level 3, level 2. I'll probably take this one. There's some troops back here. Yeah, I think the best idea is to take this one. Okay, you guys go again. Convoy raiding in here, okay. Or stability going up again? Do anything else for stability? Decisions. War propaganda this only gives us war support. I don't care about war support. That's all right. We need. We need stability. Wow. Our ruling party is really bad. That's why. Okay, we need to do something about this. Uh, can we anti-fascist raid? I'd reduce stability first. But then we loot gains again. And we, loot, we lose fascism support. What else could we do? Press censorship. That sounds pretty good. Everything else is reduced. Yeah, we take this next. We send our press. This should help with the issue. Okay, but before we do, I'm going to take another break. Uh, it's time for a beer. So I'm going to go and grab a beer. Do the same. And if you're new here, hit the follow button. It helps me a lot and doesn't cost you a penny. So that would be really much appreciated. And yeah, enjoy the music and see you in five minutes.